disappear. I need to know where everyone is and what everyone's thinking. There he is, the little man who started this big war. Right now, I'm the real you. Sure, and I'm the real you. You sound deranged. Have you been to Ireland since Reaper Street? No. No? Annoyingly. Uh, yes. Yeah, I fact. really, I, I, um, I have a big soft spot for Dublin, and I miss it. Well, I, yeah. I, I was going to, like, I, I pitched it to Jerry already that... Uh, uh, why not? I think it's a really good idea. Well, yeah. tax breaks. Yes. Like, Waystar will love that. Absolutely. And it's a tech hub. It is. So... Yeah. And there's lovely big castles we can go and have really dysfunctional I family gatherings. It. Yeah. So, like, uh, <laughs> like so Matthew's I on know. board. <laughs> yeah. Come on back, Matthew. Yeah. How are you doing today? Very well. Very Fantastic. well, yeah. Um, what line or insult... Mm. is quoted back to you the most from the fans, would you say? I haven't actually... The truth is, I I don't get quoted back a line in particular. I get a lot of sort of, you know, warm scans, (laughs) especially in the States. Right. And occasionally, um, somebody... Now and again, people come up and say, loved you in billions. And they'll go, and then... And our, and it's just a nice thing. And then one guy said, loved you in billions. And then he came back and said, succession, sorry. And went away again. I was just sitting <laughs> on the bed. Uh, and sometimes people just shout Greg at me. Okay. Greg the egg! Even though they know I'm not Greg. But they, they know I was sort of had something yeah. to do with him. Yeah. yeah. No, that's, uh, there's a line in the third season. Right. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone. But it, you quote, kind of quote Nero. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> my exact reaction was, ah, uh. <laughs> Where it was a real <laughs> roller coaster for me. It was like he loves Greg, but also, oh my God, what yeah. the, the, the <laughs> he loves so Greg broken. and he really loves Greg. And yeah, sort of... like, what is your take on on like purely your take on that? Like outside of playing the character, what, yeah. What do you see as that relationship, Tom and Greg? Yeah, it's complicated. I think yeah. he really. I think he genuinely does like Greg, and I think he feels like he's a sort of father figure mentor to him uh, but also there's Greg is a sort of threat and he always was from the get go because he's he's a cousin I mean he's sort of blood family you know, mm-hmm. which Tom isn't and he's younger and he's sort of he's got a sort of cheerful sensibility and he's taller than Tom which oh. is worrying a little bit and so I think I don't know but I think I think he genuinely, uh, Tom genuinely needs him, and he's one of the sort of constants where, where Tom doesn't have many of those sort of anchors. And I think so when it, when it looks like Greg's presence is a bit shaky, like in the, in season two when he when Greg sort of moots the idea of of, of leaving, it's really really upsetting. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know. I think Tom, you know, Tom wanted to sort of help Greg with his career, and Greg seems to have worked it out, and he's sort of outgrowing Tom. Maybe that's the sort of that's a sort of a growing worry. Um, but it's a but it's a great scene. It's a beautifully written scene. The sort of yeah, like classical like, like that 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 again that Nero line. I was just so kind of <laughs> hollowed out by it. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> um, hollowed out. It's perfect. just a it's just a fantastic scene, and obviously. The two yeah. have like incredible chemistry together, and he's. And this is a spoiler, but it's, it's okay to say. But he's the threat of looming possible jail time. Mm. I mean, is that's a big deal? Sure, for anybody, you know, that's really scary. Even though he'd, he'd probably end up in quite a cushy jail, but still, he's incarcerated, and and it's, it, that's a bonding thing for you both as well because it's a it's a shared fear, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you ever have? an almost out-of-body experience making this when you're dealing with the mega yachts and the castles and the insane penthouses and stuff where you're just like, oh, this is like billionaire yeah. living. Yeah. So the so the truthful answer is complete, totally. You sort of walk onto these yachts or, you know, me and Sarah's apartment is amazing and, you know, but, this, but the really out-of-body thing is how quickly you get, you're like... You get used to it. Yeah. It's a weird. You think, oh, we're here again. <laughs> you know, <laughs> can I get a car? You know, then you think, hang on. Because you know it's sort of transient and, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sort of half serious. But you know what I mean. You sort of get used to it. The really thrilling thing, actually, was doing, we did the pilot. And I was really nervous. Um, 
So I was doing an accent and it was a different thing and it was but we were shooting Sarah and I had a scene on the Upper East Side on Madison Avenue around sort of 60, 63rd Street or something like that and it was a very cold sort of blue sky New York day and it was beyond exciting because we were filming in Manhattan and I I never I, you know you never it was just it was just very very thrilling to mm-hmm. be embarking and you, we didn't know how it was going to turn out and you know um but I thought, I've done this. This is good. Shooting in New York. What would you say? Now, let's say Jesse came over and was like, I'm, I'm leaving it up to you. Right. What would you say is the kind of the ultimate happiest ending for Tom? <laughs> Something that involves Shiv and Greg, I think. Like a throuple? Maybe. Like a, like, or he just lives with them? Like and maybe the he dog. just lives or lives sort of down, lives in the apartment below. You know, uh, I don't know. I think there's a part of Tom which we really would love, love to be happy and maybe, maybe get out of the business and go and do. And there's a there's a there's a moment in season one where he says to Shiv, "Can you scuba? You know, should we just go and should we just go and be? Should we just go to New Zealand and do something else?" Mm. He said, "I'd be happy. I just want to be with you." But then again, I'm not convinced that they would. You know, I'm not convinced that Tom. There's part of him that likes the cut. The sort of cut and thrust of corporate life and power and ambition all the rest of it yeah like the, his aim kind of is Shiv but also he seems to be actually just very good at his job when he wants to be I think yeah that's right yeah he's not a, he's not he's I mean, not he's an idiot a, no, no no I mean he's running a great big TV company and he's probably quite good and it's ATN's doing quite well mm. I think in spite of all the other shenanigans that's happening to, to Waystar so yeah. Yeah. And one last one, if that's okay. When did you notice that Succession had become essentially like everyone's favorite show? Because I, for me, it was <clears throat> just during lockdown when everyone was like, "I'm rewatching Succession," or "I'm rewatching Succession for the fifth time," and everyone's yeah. waiting for this third season to arrive. Yeah, maybe then, or or it's you sort of become aware a little bit um, after the first season. There was a sort of feeling like. Have you seen the show? It's the show you haven't seen, but you ought to maybe if you like this sort of thing. And so it was a sort of building. It was a slow burn thing, which is mm. I think is maybe the healthiest way of a show um, becoming successful, rather than a big fanfare and you know trying to sustain it. It was a sort of slow burn. Um, but yeah, sort of season two, beginning of season two, fantastic. And yeah. now, now we have plans for season four because you've got to come over. Make the most of the tax breaks in Ireland. So. This is it. Yeah. If you could pass it up, I'm going be. to. Yeah. yeah do. As soon as this is over, I'm going to go and speak <laughs> to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic. Thank you for your time today. You're so welcome. This life is not for everyone. It's a number on a piece of paper. It's a fight for a knife in the mud. I'm a good guy. I'm better than you. Oh, beast them. We'll go full. Beast. beast.